Welcome to this short how-to video about buying tickets online at this year's Wisconsin Film Festival. So, to get started, scroll down to the film guide and you will see an alphabetical listing of all of our films that we're showing along with lots of information about them, including the venue they're playing at and the screen time. And it's listed alphabetically. So you can click on uh, a letter at the top here. So if we click on E, we get straight over to Ernest Borgnine on the bus. We also have a back to top button, which if you hit will take you back to the top and you'll see our film guide search. There's also a filter by section section. So if I click on big screens, little folks, uh, and then scroll down, I will see only films that are in the big screens, little folks section of the festival. Again, um, going back to top, we can also type in the name of a film or whatever words we might know from that title. So I definitely want to go to opening night. I want to read about that. So I click on that search button and it takes me to opening night and I can click on open full description and it will show me all the information that we have about opening night. And then I can add that to my shopping list. So I click on the add to shopping list button, this blue button. Then it will turn green and tell me that it's already been added to my shopping list. Then I can go back to browsing. Uh, I can clear the guide by pressing the clear button. Now I'm back to a full alphabetical listing of films. So I know I want to see 60 yard line, so I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. And then as I scroll down, I want to read some more about Alba. And it sounds good to me. And I think I want to see that on Monday, April 3rd, as opposed to Saturday, April 1st. So I click on the Monday, April 3rd, and I close out that pop-up window. Scroll down to look for more films. Oh, there's a film that has my name in the title. I totally want to see that, adding that to my shopping list. And then I continue to scroll down. Or I go back up to the top. I want to see something down at the bottom of the list, so I click on Y. Youth, that sounds like a good one. I click on that. Then I hit my back to top button, and I find myself at the back at the top of the film guide. And I've done all the shopping I want to do, so now I click on View Shopping List, and then this pop-up window appears, and it's got all the films that I just selected uh, in chronological order. And you can see there's a film called Creepshow, Wisconsin's own spookiest, which wasn't one of the ones that I selected, but Youth, which I did select, is part of that screening. So that's why that appeared. Then I can hit the Print Shopping List button, and that takes me to this page, which is a much more simplified shopping list, and I can actually just print that out if I want to, which I just did. I can also close out this window and now I want to buy these tickets. So I find this yellow button here, buy major selections, buy tickets now. And I click on that button and that will open up a new tab in my browser um, in Vendini, which is our new ticketing software vendor. So now here's where things get interesting. This is a, a chronological list of all the films we're showing, just like my shopping list. So I go back to our website and I can either grab the printed copy of this that I just printed or for this for the purposes of this video I am going back to the online version of that shopping list. So I have that I'm able to reopen it and it has saved all of my choices and it won't it won't get rid of those unless I press the empty list button. But now I'm lining up these two windows side by side so that I can compare and find the films I want. So I find Opening Night Celebration. I click on it in Vendini. I pick the amount of tickets I want. There's only one price point for this particular screening. And I tell my delivery option is hold at venue box office will call. And I hit OK, and it comes up to this screen, which is where I would put in all my billing information. Uh, but I'm not ready for that. I want to keep shopping. So I press the Keep Shopping button. That brings me back to my chronological list. And I go back to my shopping list. And the next film is from Mass of the Mountain, Saturday, April 1st, 1230 at Cinematheque. So I go back to my Vendini list, which is in the same chronological order. And I scroll down to Saturday, April 1st. 
and I find it, and I select it, and now this screening has lots of different pricing options. So I want some regular tickets, but I also want to take my mom. So I pick a senior ticket, and then my venue, my ticket delivery option is already locked in at will call. I could change it, but I'm not going to. Now when I hit OK, I see that my cart is being built. I've got both the opening night and from Ask the Mountain. And I still want to do some shopping. Next, Creep Show, Wisconsin's own spookiest, Saturday, April 1st at 9.30. So I scroll back down. I know it's past my From Mass to the Mountain entry because I just found that one. So now I'm looking later in the day, Saturday, April 1st. Look at all these amazing films we're showing. Oh, there it is, Creep Show. Select. Pick my ticketing options. I'm going to go by myself to this one because nobody I know likes horror movies except for me. Saying OK to that. That adds that to my cart. And I'm going to keep on shopping. 60-yard line. That's the next one on my list. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'll get two tickets for that. And I'm going to say OK. So let's say I'm done with my shopping at this point. Now I can hit the continue button. Oh, but you know what? I'm thinking about this. 60 Yard Line seems like a fun movie for a lot of my friends. So I'm going to go to the edit button just for that entry. And I'm going to buy four tickets instead of two. I hit OK. And it has made that change in my cart. I now have four tickets selected. Now I can hit continue. Now I'm on my billing screen. I fill in my particulars, my name, my credit card information, my billing address. I can also click on this redeem benefits button. In case I am using a 10 pack holiday certificate or some other free tickets that were given to me, and in which case, I will enter in the email and the name of um, the person who gave me those complimentary tickets. Then when I'm done, I can go back and fill in my credit card information because I'm able to both redeem benefits and pay with a card on the same transaction. It will do the math for me. Fill all that out, and then I would hit continue. And then I would check out and I'd be all set.